Connor Wigman against Notre Dame's defense this upcoming weekend. Maybe one of my favorite matchups to watch this entire week one. Definitely any SEC quarterback against an opposing defense. I think for Adam to win this game, I think Wigman is going to have to make some plays. With that said, we're going to talk about Connor Wigman, what he needs to do against Notre Dame's defense. There's three keys. I want to kind of go into detail. I think if he does and performs well, Anum should win this game and, and he should have success against Notre Dame's defense. Again, very excited to see Wigman and Colin Klein's offense finally. Uh, week one's finally here, right? But before we dive into Connor Wigman, and we are going to have some film that we're going to go through, I want to talk about Notre Dame's defense. And again, this is the first game of 2024. So just because they did something in 2023 doesn't mean, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't mean that's what's going to happen this upcoming season. So we have no film to go off of, but we do have some 2023 stats. So last year, Notre Dame's defense was a top five defense versus the pass, versus yards per game or passing yards per game, giving up less than 155 yards per game through the air. They did a very good job defending deep balls, a very good job keeping the balls in front of them. They gave up less than 20 points per game as well. So a very stout defense. Even if the team had some success or the offense had some success inside the 20s, once they got down close to the red zone, the field gets smaller. Notre Dame's defense got stronger and stronger. So I would imagine Notre Dame's defense being solid again this year, even on the road, even going down to Kyle Field and College Station. I would still imagine Notre Dame's defense being solid this year. And, and AM has a new offense to break in. Yeah, the talented quarterback and Wigman, who, if you watch this channel, you know I like. You got Colin Klein's offense, he's breaking in. So there's a lot of stuff to be excited about, but it's still a first time that they're running this offensive system against a pretty damn good defense. So what does Wigman need to do? What are the three keys and three takeaways? I think if if they do or plan right, they'll have success against Notre Dame's defense. <clears throat> Number one, I want to showcase his legs, his athleticism, without getting hit, if that makes sense, right? I want the defense to be afraid of Wigman running the ball. And we're going to see a clip of Wigman escaping. I think it's against New Mexico, but still it showcases his athleticism. So whether that is a quarterback design run, whether that is just getting him out in the pocket, a rollout or throwing outside the pocket. I want the defense. I want Notre Dame's defense in the back of their mind to be thinking, man, okay, Connor Wigman's a pretty good athlete. I need to take that in, in, into consideration, right? That's number one. Showcase his legs without getting hit. I'm not trying to do a quarterback power, right? I just want to showcase his athleticism without getting hit. So now the defense maybe gets out of position or maybe they're not flying around as fast because they got to hone in on Connor Wigman. Number two, I want to start off with comfortable throws, easy completions. Take the check down, especially starting off. Take, the, take that check down. I know people watching Jimbo's offense the past few years, they don't want to hear me say that, but I think when you are when when you are uh, getting this offense, the first time you're running this offense against a defense like Notre Dame, you want to take some easy victories, some easy wins. So get that check down. Let your running back make a play or two. Maybe he bust one, right? We're going to watch some film of last year of, of him having an easy throw and the running back being able to make uh, a good amount of yards after the catch. Number three, I know I talked about comfortable throws and easy completions, but I think to win, you can't let this Notre Dame defense suffocate you. You can't let the Notre Dame defense surround the line of scrimmage and really close in the line of scrimmage, right? So you are going to have to hit on some deep shots. I really believe so, especially with a defense that was so good against the pass last year, a defense that did not give up a lot of points last year. I think to win this game, you're going to have to you're going to have to score in the 20s, right? I guess it depends what you think of Notre Dame's offense and, and how well Leonard can do against against AM's defense. But I think to win this game, you're going to have to hit some downfield throws, in my opinion. We saw Wigman do that last year. We saw him take the next step, and his yards per attempt were up uh, noticeably, even though he only played three and a half games. But I think to win the game, you're going to have to hit those deep shots, right? So just to recap, before we dive into this film against this three clips, it's broadcast footage. I apologize. Before we look at these type of plays and throws, I think he'll need to make. Let's recap these three keys. Number one, utilize your legs, right? Showcase your athleticism without getting hit. Number two, start off with some comfortable, easy throws, right? That's not rocket science, right? That's easy, right? But you want to stay within that. Don't get ahead of your skis. Number three, to win the game, at some point, you're going to have to hit on some deep shots and make some really nice Throw. So we're about to watch some film, but, but before we do, if this is your first time tuning in the channel. Thanks for watching. We're just a big quarterback hub. We talk all things SEC quarterbacks from these breakdowns to two times a week. We'll start having live shows all over SEC quarterbacks. So if that's your cup of tea, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. It helps us grow. With that said, let's get into the film. The first clip we're going to watch is going to be of Wegman and just using his 
his athleticism using his legs. Now we don't want to, this is a scramble, right? I, I'm kind of anticipating more of a uh, quarterback design. Oh, excuse me. I'm kind of moving that out of position. I apologize. Let's see. Boom, boom. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking more of a quarterback design run or a, a quarterback um, design rollout to get his, him thrown on the run as opposed to a scramble. This is a good video and a good example of Wegman's ability as a runner. Right, he's going to make a few guys miss, and it just does a good job showcasing his ability. Any a and fan watching this probably understands and realizes how good of an athlete Connor Wegman is. If he would have played baseball, and this is from people that play baseball there, he probably would have been the best baseball player at Texas A&M <clears throat> over the course of the past few years, or one of the best, right? But again, good athlete, so I want to use his legs. I want to use his athleticism to get him going. Uh, I know he stumbles there, but it gets back up. Uh, I want to use his athleticism to get him comfortable and for Notre Dame to have to start thinking, okay, hey, he's a pretty good athlete. Hopefully that slows down Notre Dame's defense and, and gets them starting to question and second-guess themselves, right? So point number one, I want to use his legs. Now, this was a scramble, but still, I want to use his legs. Let's go ahead and see what clip is next. Let's see. Again, I'm using the new, uh, I guess, video annotator, if that makes sense sense uh so give me a second all right clip number two i want comfortable easy throws now we're going to see this was obviously last year total different offense uh crowding the line of scrimmage how many is that one two three four five six seven eight guys here right so we're going to see just a swing pass to the receiver or the running back coming out here i want to see these type of throws here uh it doesn't have to be like this exact throw but i want to see easy completions if you if you have enough easy give me completions and you have the receivers and running backs and athletes like AM has eventually they have the potential to break it so let's go ahead and play here again i apologize here we go we got slow motion coming in so got, you know you got man defense here but again webman does a good job taking the defense gives him get these type of throws the more throws you can have early in the game i think Notre Dame's defense could get bored uh, or at the very least you're able to to break a play here, right? This ends up being a big play for AM. But I want to see some quick, easy, comfortable throws early in the game for Connor Wegman to get going. In this next clip, this is what this is what I want to see. I think you're gonna have to have clips like this to win the game. This is a deep ball. I think it's against New Mexico, but still it's a really good deep throw here. 30 something yards in the air for a touchdown. This it doesn't matter if this was against New Mexico or not. It's pretty good coverage and he does a good job. Good job by the offensive line, but does a good job throwing with pressure in his face for a touchdown here. So we'll keep going. See, it's a really good throw for Wegman. I think to beat Notre Dame, you're going to have to have some big throws, some pretty tough throws like this throw here in order to win the game, right? So just to recap, Connor Wegman, what do you want to see against Notre Dame? And, you know, you want to see him get comfortable in the offense. It's, it's the first time running this offense, and you're playing against a really good defense. But – you want to see him get comfortable in the offense, make some comfortable throws. You want to see him use his legs. I think that's maybe an underrated um, an underrated attribute he has, but I want to see him use his legs, get the defense thinking about other things, and then to win the game, I think we're going to need some deep shots like we're watching right here. I think I think you got to complete one of these two type of deep throws to win the game, right? But a fans or just college football fans, quarterback fans, I want to hear from you. What do you think, one, Connor Wegman needs to do against Notre Dame? And two, let me know your, let me know your thoughts in the comments below what a and needs to do just to win in general. What was I wrong about? What was I right about? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And again, if this is your first time watching, thank you. Please like, share, subscribe. All that really does help the channel grow. Keep following us along. We'll see you next time. Peace.